Well, if there's sometimes you just gotta pick your way through it. And it looks like they just take chunks of rock and throw it into the potholes. And sometimes there's nothing in the potholes, <laughs> but a pothole. Here's the road repair crew. <laughs> <laughs> no flags, nothing official, just taking care of business. And there's the roadside cleanup crew. <laughs> <laughs> yep, my favorite way to deal with with the grass and the stuff on the side of the road. And the goats take care of it. What are they? Good job. And this is why traveling only a few kilometers can take the better part of the day. Hi, we're Matt and Christina, and we've been traveling in our van Clarity for nearly a year now. And when we're not visiting new and exciting places, we're enjoying our off-grid home in the mountains. Join us as we explore living off the grid in both our van and our sustainable home. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you get notified when we upload new videos. <laughs> we've got a treat in store for today. Uh, we don't know what it is quite yet. <laughs> We're going to show you. <laughs> uh, we knew we were taking a, a boat ride to where we're going, but uh, judging by the paddles that we see, we're going to be doing the paddling. Show you what we're doing here. Oh, you're going to walk backwards? <laughs> <laughs> we're walking over to the boats. Our guide is waiting across there to get our boats and then coming to pick us up so we don't have to get our feet wet. It's hard to prepare when you have no idea what's going to happen. We wrapped a lot of rivers in the desert, but paddling through a tropical rainforest adds a new dimension to an already mystical experience. So there's a little rapid here, and he's just walking the boat up the rapid and wanted us to walk around. Good, this gives me a time to get up there, take a few pictures, and set up the drone. Not the cows. Yeah. Uh, something really... Really yeah, good. it's those flowers right there. Yeah. Oh, doesn't that smell good? Yeah. Like you should make ice cream out of that. Yeah. Yep.
just so soothing to be out on the water. <laughs> just the sound of the water and the paddles. I think it's just what we needed. I keep seeing faces in the rocks. Yeah. That is the whitewater rafting for the day. <laughs> Actually, there's one more. Going down the rapids. This is it, the rapids. So he says if we just go up these stairs, there's a cave with water all around it. Uh, you can go swimming, whatever. So we're gonna go check it out. Another little surprise on this trip. Life jackets are required. <laughs> Check this out. La Cueva del Agua. Oh my god, this is so fascinating. This isn't amazing, it's magical. <laughs> Let's go for a swim in the cave. There's only one way to find out. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, with this life jacket on, you don't go down very far. <laughs> it's not too cold. It's comfortable. I'll go in here and see if you can see the stalactites. It's cool, very cool. That was amazing though, huh? Yeah, it was worth it. Big, big leap. Overcoming the fear of jumping into a big dark hole. <laughs> <laughs> and then losing my shoes. <laughs> you lost them? No, I, oh. I, I came up and the straps were off. Oh, okay. And I was just holding coming. on to them with my toes. Oh, gosh. So I backstroked over there to where I think we're going to get out, and I left them there. Oh, okay. If not, I don't think we're going to free dive down and get them. No. <laughs> A sincere thank you to our guide, whose unusual name we couldn't retain. He didn't speak a word of English, but effectively communicated with us and led us through an adventure of a lifetime. Well, we just got back from such uh, a glorious trip down the river and the waterfall and the cave and everything. And then we get back to our camp and our camp hosts greet us with these. <laughs> we think they're choyote. 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 <laughs> and, and if that's wrong, I'll put a subtitle down below. Or choyota. Choyota. Something Not like sure. that. But if you remember, if you were along with us in Baja, we tried these and we decided like, what is all the rave about these? But our camp hostess came out bearing gifts. She brought us, it prepared, she prepared it for us in butter and onion and garlic. garlic. Is that it? And salt? Uh, it tastes to me like it has a little salt in it. A little salt. And it is really delicious. <laughs> we came back from this wonderful excursion and we were just blessed with food. They brought us an entire clump of bananas right off their tree. A half of a papaya that was ripened to perfection till it's right, right this moment. And then this beautiful food. We just feel so cared for and we just feel like these people are absolutely so warm and um, 
friendly and just inclusive you know when you show up and stay in their camp you're now part of their family is what it feels like mm -hmm. it's really an honor to get to stay at these places